Well, you know, the, the first weekend is something you want to you gain some momentum on. And, and uh, you know, when you start off with, with Stanford Cal, both, both uh, in the polls ranked, doing quite well, good form. Um, you you want to come away with something. And, and the, the Thursday game against Stanford, I thought we played it so well, you know. Um, and we certainly had our chances to, to change the result. Um, but uh, it wasn't to be. And, uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you lose a game in the 89th minute, um, it uh, really pours salt in the wound. And so uh, I thought the, the, the guys uh, had a challenge on their hands. The, the challenge was how they're going to respond. And, you know, when, and whenever, you, whenever you are hoping to win a game and you don't win it, I think you, you, you get disappointed. Um, but I think when, when you're expecting to win a game and you don't win it, I think you, you get a little bit angry, and I thought that that's what happened with our guys. I thought there was a little bit of anger there, and and so uh, you know, trying to do, continue to shift the culture from hope to expectation is is something that has been in the forefront of what we're trying to do here. And and going into the Cal game, uh, you saw that from the get-go. And uh, you know, when you when you score uh, within the first minute of the game, it shows you uh, where where the, the team's head is at. Uh, where their attitude and approach were at, and uh, you know, really, uh, it went on from there. Um, going into that halftime uh, against Cal, uh, I knew they were going to have a momentum swing, but the guys kept their their head, and they were able to capitalize. So, um, overall, I, I think you know, taking three points and, and 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 a victory against a very good team is good. Um, we'll reflect back, and obviously, we want more, but that's what I expect the team to do. Yeah, you know, that, 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 that's something that in my playing and coaching career that I don't remember seeing or experiencing. So uh, to have that happen um, against that kind of team, because uh, I have the fullest respect for, for that Cal team, uh, was, was quite remarkable. And I'm happy for the guys, you know, and, and, you know, and Timmy and Kyrie, you know, were able to be very clinical and, um, you know, you know you know, Timmy Mueller, uh, the, the kid that scores three goals, would uh, gladly switch one of those out for the chance he had against Stanford. But soccer is fickle that way. And, uh, you know, there's times where you get into a rich vein of form and, and you know, you, you can't help but score. And so, you know, you got to take them when you can. Um, and then you got to take the highs out of the highs and lows out of the lows. And, and, you know, we scored six goals, but it's still just one win. And uh, you want to uh, make sure that, that you, know, you understand that. But that'll come back down to our senior leadership. But as far as you know, performance is, um, it's quite remarkable. And uh, very rare that that ever happens in a game, especially a Pac-12 game. Well, you know, obviously there, there's some meaning there for sure. But you know, a couple weeks ago, we were in the top 25, and then we were out of the top 25. So you know, uh, rankings are going to be rankings. The, me the media has got to do what they have to do. Um, you know, certainly uh, you, you want to uh, enjoy it um, because, you know, those accolades are, are well earned. But at the same time, <laughs> you look at our league, everybody's basically ranked. So, um, you know, you, when it gets down to it, you get down to Brax tax, you know, you got to control the things you can control because there are going to be people that have different opinions on us and other teams, and that's just the way it's going to be. And um, those are things that we can't control. But, uh, you know, I think the for the guys to be able to enjoy whatever accolade you get at this point of the season, um, they need to be responsible, and I think they will be because you know the the the, the one accolade that you, you want to get excited about is making the NCAA tournament, and there's still a lot of season left for that. Well, you know Washington right now uh, is is just in form. You know they're they're I think they're they're well coached. I think they they got one of the best coaches in the country, and Jamie Clark. And uh, he's done a tremendous job since since arriving there several years ago, and you know it's no surprise to me what he's done there. So it's you know it's always uh, just a wonderful challenge opportunity to to play uh, a team uh, of that caliber, and so um, you know we look forward to it. You know anytime you have uh, a good side like like Washington, especially coming into Corvallis, um, it's a chance to see where you measure up, and you know. Um, all of these games coming up are going to be like that, like this last weekend. And so, um, you know, the, 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 the matches in the, in the past have been very, very tight affairs. Because of the nature of being in the Pacific Northwest, 
there's a lot of pre-established relationships with uh, the, the, the players on both teams. Um, so that always adds a little extra spice to it. Um, but I have the fullest respect for, for, for that program and staff, and we're just looking forward to having them on campus on Sunday.